Hello. As I promise, um, I will um, guide you a little bit uh, in uh, how I am coaching uh, identity. Uh, first of all, why uh, this identity, uh, our identity, is so important. Uh, we were talking about our mind and we were talking about four parts of our mind. Um, and one of them is, in yoga philosophy, ahamkara, um, sometimes traduced as the ego. Um, but I think that uh, we have to agree on what this ego uh, word uh, um, uh, uh, stand for and for us I think in our culture the ego is something negative it's like when I have the big ego you know uh, I'm a kind of ruthless uh, person uh, thinking too much about myself um, so the one way of traduce it or use it is with this word identity because ahamkara does not really mean like big ego or, or, or some uh, puffing uh, sense of, of self. It's just this me or I that I identify with. Um, wrongly, falsely, because we are much more than just our identity. And this is the difference between true self and uh, false self, uh, if you want, but I will not go into the consideration of true self or not, because this identity, this ahamkara, this ego, is important for us to function in society. I mean, we are in this life, right? So if you are with me in, in yoga classes, for sure, uh, the, the aim somehow is to go beyond the mind and beyond our false identity and realize our true self that you can call love, uh, pure consciousness or divine, you know, or merging with universe, uh, whatever you want to call it, soul maybe. Um, however, in my coaching practice, um, I'm more focused on, um, of course, your issues, but to, generally speaking, to uh, learn myself and uh, help others to handle well this identity through the journey and through the adventure of life, right? Um, now, why this identity is so important uh, for us? Um, of course, because we think that this is who we are. Now, if we think that this is who we are, our mind, our way of thinking, feeling, and behaving will do everything to protect this identity. Because if it is who I think that I am, if I am not it anymore, I am not, right? Or I have to accept that maybe I'm something else. Uh, but you know, one of the biggest fear uh, of all of us is the fear of death. And the death of what? Of this body, for sure, but it is part of our identity. But the death of our I of our identity, of what we think is us. So how do we build this identity? Um, some uh, of us have strong and clear idea about who we are um, in, this, in this perspective uh, of, of ego, of, of identity, of personality. Uh, and for some of us, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, both way, it's the work we have to do. And 
I'm always saying if you want to change or especially for the spiritual yogi people that we are and our aim is to, you know, like destroy the ego or go, go beyond it. Uh, it's difficult to destroy something uh, if you don't even know what is it. Um, so if you are in coaching session with me and we hit the problem linked to identity in some way, and there are many ways, uh, usually I ask, so who you think that you are? How would you describe yourself? And then there is some kind of answer. And according to what the issue is, uh, I may orient a little bit uh, the questions, but usually I ask to take your identity card, you see? I have already two, one Czech and one French, because I have double nationality. So this is already the beginning of uh, schizophrenic, schizophrenic or double personality, or multiple personality feeling. Um, uh, so like if somebody tell me, oh, I have two, I could already ask, okay, and do you feel or do you identify more strongly with your Czech? identity or with your French identity mm, you know and I know a few of you and you have double or triple nationality so which one you identify more and what does it make you feel okay now you take your identity card and you read name so how strongly do you identify with your name or nickname and do you like it or you struggle with it for some reason maybe this is already the the first thing and you know honestly my name like in this card is Michaela <laughs> you all know me as a Misha but my like birth name correct way it's Michaela that already the French can pronounce the H. Um, then it's Lavkova, which is my maiden name. I was born as Lavkova. And then it's still written, suppose, Derhe, but I'm divorced and now remarried. And so now I'm suppose Closier, and I kept both names. So right now, if you ask me, I usually say my name is Misha. And then if I really have to give uh, the, the name, like, you know, in the shops or some cards that I have, I'm always struggling. Ah, it's Lavkova, it's uh, Closier, it's Lavkova Closier, it's Derhi. I don't even know, actually, what's really my name is. Uh, so, you know, my identity with the name, it's not very strong. And if I have to say uh, my strongest identity is with Misha. And I know that if somebody calls me Misha, it's somebody who knows me more personally and better than somebody who calls me Misa or Maisa or uh, Michelle. Uh, nobody calls me Michaela. Um, so you can already start to play with your name. Um, then there is the sex. Are you comfortable with your sex? And how strongly you identify with your feminine or masculine sex, which I uh, already think that, you know, we have both uh, energies, all of us, the masculine and feminine, and this differentiation of man and woman is bringing a lot of troubles and conflict uh, with a lot of programmation, like, for generation and, and for for uh, for centuries. So, what about your sex? How do you identify, and what does it make you feel? Um, then there is the date of birth. So, what your age is doing to your identity. And you know, we, we are talking about all this 50 and fabulous. Uh, so how does it feel to be 50 or maybe 60 or maybe 40? 
how do you struggle with your age or how do you accept it how do you enjoy it um, and w what kind of impact it can have on your behavior and way of thinking and feeling on everyday basis um, then there is uh, where you are born you know so for me it's liberates at that time Czechoslovakia now Czech Republic um, so again how do you feel and how do you identify with your place of birth and with this nationality with your birth culture um, and you know for like when I was young that everybody who was like from Prague was like king and everybody else was kind of uh, you know uh, from from campaign or from from villages so so not so posh uh, I think that in France sometimes it's a little bit similar with okay if I'm in Paris or from Paris, uh, I'm a little bit more than if I'm not. And then in Paris, it depends on which neighborhood you are living. So <laughs> there are many things about where are you born and then on the opposite side, what's your address? Now, if I look my French identity card, my address is uh, 57 Sander Hound, Sp Spencer Duck, uh, Dublin. Uh, it's still the address when from my life in uh, in Dublin many years ago, uh, quite a lot. And since then, I changed the address at least three, maybe four times. Um, so how do I identify with this place and with this story in my life? It's like very, very different life I had. So I don't have to wait for reincarnation in my life. I have already many different lives. Um, and I will not even start with the Czech card because uh, we could spend too, too long here. But take your identity card and watch it, observe it and start already with your name, your age, your nationality where you are living right now, where you were born, and observe how do you feel about it and how this part of your story is influencing your behavior, your way of thinking, talking to the people um, and decisions that you are making. Because we are making most of our decision based on fear and this fear is from losing this identity or changing something in this identity because we build it something in conscious or unconscious way and i can just tell you like uh, you know uh, when i was divorcing this 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 identity of madame derry that I was so used to it for 25 years or 20 years, um, it, it was kind of hard to, to drop and it felt a little bit confusing in one moment, uh, who I am, how should I introduce myself, you know, like, ah. Oh. Uh, and then, okay, I'm uh, Madame Lavkova, but yeah, but your identity card is saying, hmm, um, and the same, uh, I have one more exercise because we are not identifying just with our name or birth, but you know, you, if I coach you, uh, I will make you this kind of um, picture and you will uh, have to make the picture of, of you or of any personality that, that you feel like. And then you make around little bubbles or little clouds. And in each of it, you write, you know, who you think that you are. And mostly your roles, like I'm mother, I'm spouse, I'm coach, I'm yogi, I'm chaplain, um, I'm a sister, I'm friend. Um, 
And then uh, your activities, you know, like I identify with yogi, but it's also the activity yogi and I'm foodie and I'm dog lover and I'm bookworm. Um, I'm a gardener, like baby gardener. Uh, uh, I'm an international woman of mystery. Whatever you think about yourself, uh, you put there your roles and activities, and you know maybe also your your like job, and then maybe you can put there also some attributes that you identify with, like. Uh, I'm energetic, or I'm passionate, or I'm fat, I'm skinny, um, I'm disciplined, or I'm lazy. Um, whatever you feel, it's like a kind of um, a scan that you can do of yourself. Um, do you get it? Yeah. And you put it all around, and then you stay with it uh, for a little moment and watch it, you know, and where do you feel comfortable? In which bubble you feel comfortable? Which bubble you feel strong about? Like if you have to pick up three or four from those bubbles, if you have like ten, but maybe you have four, so which one, which one would, you, would you pick? Uh, and why? What does it mean for you? Um, then observe and watch which one you feel that it's like outdated, that it does not serve you anymore. You don't want it anymore. Uh, and ask yourself if you can, can you drop it? Like, I was so strongly identified with this role of yoga teacher for years. It was probably what, what was like my longest activity that I could do even with all our moving and change in our life. Um, and at what moment I had to drop it. And at the moment I dropped it, um, like the moments before, it was really, really hard. I had the feeling that I'm losing part of myself, part of something that I build it and, and invest so much in it. Um, it's like cutting your arm, actually. And when I did it, I felt sad and relieved. And it's like with my name. I just realized that I'm not just this. I'm still me, even if I am not working as a yoga teacher. Okay, so this was like, this happened twice. It was around my divorce and, and uh, last year, not in 2019, because I, I really needed the time and space for myself and, and taking care about my dad. Um, so, this part of identity is still here. I'm back in, in teaching yoga and coaching as well. Uh, but I know that I can drop it anytime. It does not determine who I am anymore. It's just the part of how I interact with the world. Now, really watch this. And it will already tell you a lot, really a lot. Um, like if, if we do it in the coaching session, it, th there is always like aha moment because you can realize that some of your issues today are linked to this false identity that you build it for yourself and you are too attached to it or too protective about it uh, and you cannot let it go, but it hurt you or it harms you in some way. Like for me, the strongest role and strongest attachment in my life that I have, it's my role of mother. And at least I'm clear that I'm not ready to let go of this one. <laughs> but I lose it a little bit to give the freedom to my children to live the life they want to live and not me. 
for them. Okay, so this was a little part of identity. And then I have also um, like the question for emotional map that we can do with this. But I think that for, for identity and for today, it's already quite enough. Um, and um, we will continue with three other parts of the mind in our mind model of 50 and fabulous. However, this is not for 50 and fabulous. This is like for everybody all the time. Have a great day and thank you. Write me if you need some more explanation.